The most important finding is that for many girls and young women, both education and migration are important dimensions of their lives, and that the interaction can lead to multiple outcomes. Put simply, migration can help girls to continue their education, um, and migration for work may even be seen as a form of education in its own right. Think of taking up uh, an informal apprenticeships, but also the skills and experiences young women may acquire through migrant work and through the general experience of migration. However, it's not all good news. For some girls, uh, migration may come in the way of continuing their schooling, and it may even indeed end schooling. In terms of policy and intervention, this suggests the following. Most importantly, migration and education, I would say, are not necessarily mutually exclusive. So rather than having a policy focus on keeping girls and young women from moving, we might want to ask how we can support making this combination work better. Now, first, for schools, and especially rural schools, these schools may have a task in preparing girls for migration that will quite probably enter their life at some point. Second, we really need to think about the way education is provided. How can this be done better to allow young women to combine migrant work and education more effectively and realistically? Third, we know very little or next to nothing about various informal apprenticeships, yet these, often, these apprenticeships are often the most realistic options for rural girls and young women, and especially those from poorer backgrounds, to continue their education. So for this, we really need a bit more research in order to provide effective support for these already existing practices.